In the previous video on battery powered chainsaws, the DeWalt took away the number one position, even beating a gasoline chainsaw. The question is, can DeWalt beat this $815 steel as well as six other brands? Well, let's get the testing underway and find out. In the first test, we'll see how fast each brand cuts through nine four x fours. Then we'll see how fast each brand cuts through hardwood. We'll also compare runtime as well as battery recharge times. At a bargain price at only $159 is this Win lithium ion 40 volt max chainsaw. 16 inch organ chain. Chain speed is 2,950 feet per minute. Up to 100 cuts per charge. We're gonna test that. Tool free tensioning system. Brushless motor. Four amp hour lithium ion battery. The wind comes with a two year warranty. The wind chainsaw is made in China. Organ chainsaw bar. 40 volt, four amp hour battery. Organ chainsaw chain. Battery charger. Instruction manual. The wind uses a steel plate that's been pressed out in a couple areas to replace the use of steel pins. While this should be fine for light duty use, it's definitely not as durable as some of the other brands we've previously tested. Bumper spikes are typically very sharp, allowing you to dig into the wood and gain some leverage. The wind does have bumper spikes, but they're just not very sharp. The trigger safety switch on the wind seems like it's in a good location. From the time the trigger is pulled until the time the saw responds is called trigger delay, and there's definitely some trigger delay with the wind. Seven thousand and seventy RPM. Installing the bar and adjusting the chain is very simple compared to some of the other saws tested in the previous video. Bar length is one thing, but how much of the bar length you can actually use is another, and how manufacturers attach the bar to the chainsaw has a big impact on that. The wind has a sixteen-inch bar, but a usable bar length of fourteen and three-quarter inches. At a price of two hundred twenty-nine dollars, the second least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Ego. Fifty-six volt lithium battery, two point five amp hour battery, brushless motor. The saw has a five-year warranty, and the battery has a three-year warranty. The Ego is made in China. Instruction manual, 56 volt lithium ion battery, battery charger. The Ego has a 14 inch chainsaw bar. The bar and the chain on the Ego appear to be made by Oregon. Definitely a very good location for the safety switch. Plastic bumper spikes on the Ego. The bar is secured by a single stud as well as a pin. About 6,840 RPM for the Ego. The Ego doesn't seem to have as much trigger delay as the win. The chain is very simple to adjust and install. The Ego has a 14 inch bar and has a usable bar length of 13 and 7 16 on a new chain. At only $259, the third least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Husqvarna. It's the model 120i, lithium ion 40 volt max. The Husqvarna is made in China. Two year warranty, battery charger, four amp hour battery, instruction manual, 14 inch chainsaw bar. The chain as well as the chainsaw bar are both made by Husqvarna. The bar is mounted and kept in place with a steel stud as well as a couple of pins. The construction of the Husqvarna definitely seems better than the Ego as well as the Win. It also has a chain guard, plastic felling spikes. The trigger safety switch is definitely in a good location. There's virtually no trigger delay with the Husqvarna. 9,552 for Husqvarna. The Husqvarna has a 14 inch bar and a usable bar length of 13 and a quarter inches. At a price of $339 is this Echo brand 58 volt lithium ion battery powered saw. 16 inch bar, brushless motor. The Echo is made in China. Five year consumer warranty, two year commercial warranty. Operator's manual, the chain in the bar appeared to be made by Oregon. Battery charger, 58 volt, four amp hour battery. To remove the bar or adjust the chain, you need the tool and the tool is mounted on the bottom side of the chainsaw. The bar is held in place by these two steel studs. Definitely seems like it's better constructed than the other brands. I definitely don't like the location of the trigger safety switch. It's right on top of the handle and really is an awkward position for the thumb. The trigger lag with the Echo is definitely better than the wind, but definitely not as good as the Husqvarna. Ten thousand eight hundred RPM. The Echo is a very well built saw, but it does take slightly longer to install and adjust the chain than the other brands. Sixteen inch bar on the Echo with only thirteen and three quarter inches of usable bar length. At four hundred fifteen dollars, this Oregon brand is the second most expensive brand that we'll be testing. Forty volt max lithium ion. It comes with a sixteen inch bar. The Oregon chainsaw has a built in sharpening system. Never cut with a dull chain again. Save time with the built in power sharp chain sharpening system. Simply pull the red lever for three to five seconds to sharpen your chain. The Oregon brand is made in China. Three year warranty, six amp hour battery. Battery charger, six amp hour battery. Instruction manual, 16 inch bar. This is the lever to sharpen the chain. Definitely good ergonomics on the trigger safety switch. 
Instead of using plastic, the organ uses metal. The organ definitely seems very well built. By pulling a lever, the sharpening stone comes in contact with the chain. In order for the self-sharpening system to work, the organ uses a different style of chain. A very small amount of trigger lag with the organ, but it's actually not too bad. 7,300 RPM. The organ does have metal tree felling spikes, but they just aren't very sharp and won't offer much grip. The chain tensioner has to be installed on the bar. 16 inch bar on the organ with a usable bar length at 14 and 7 16 And the most expensive brand we'll be testing at $815 for the battery charger, the battery as well as the saw, is this steel MSA 220C. The steel battery is made in USA. I purchased the steel AP300S, the largest battery you can buy for this saw. 36 volt, 7.2 amp hours. The steel charger is made in Vietnam. The steel I purchased comes with a 14 inch bar, but you can purchase the saw with a 16 inch bar. Both the bar and the chain are made by steel. The saw is made in Austria. Definitely the best felling spikes of all the brands we're testing. The steel stud and pin seems like a very secure way of mounting the bar. The trigger safety switch is in a great location. Okay, virtually no trigger lag with the steel. Wow, 13,628 RPM. To tighten the chain, you simply rotate the dial clockwise. 14 inch bar on the steel with a usable bar length of 12 and a quarter inches. A huge advantage of the battery powered chainsaw is the reduced noise level. The sound meter is placed 30 inches directly over the chainsaw handle. 99 decibels for the win. The win is definitely a lot quieter than a gasoline powered saw. 92 decibels for the Ego. 92.5 decibels for the Husqvarna. The echo is 99.5 decibels. The organ was slightly louder than the echo at 100 decibels. The steel has a very high chain speed. It was the loudest of all the brands at 100.5 decibels. If you're trying to keep the noise levels down, the Ego is the quietest saw at only 92 decibels, Husqvarna 92.5, Win 99, Echo 99.5, Organ 100, and Steel 100.5. With the battery, the Win weighs right at 12 pounds. With the battery, the Ego weighs 11.4 pounds. The Husqvarna is the lightest yet at 10.8 pounds. The Echo is the heaviest yet at 14.6 pounds. 13.8 pounds for the organ. Even with the 7.2 amp hour battery, the steel only weighs 11.6 pounds. If you're looking for a really lightweight saw, the Husqvarna is the lightest at 10.8 pounds. Ego and steel 11.4, Win 12, Organ 13.4, and Echo 14.6. I'll be using the steel platinum bar and chain lubricant in all the saws. Let's see how fast each of the saws cuts through nine 4x4s. I'm using the same boards that we used in the last video on battery powered chainsaws. Even though the wind stalled out on the first cut, the first cut was the fastest of the three cuts at 20.8 seconds. The second cut took slightly longer at 22.3. The third cut was almost as fast as the first cut at 21.2 seconds. For $159 saw, the wind actually did a lot better than I thought it would do. I stalled the Eagle on the first pass, really slowing down the cut to 17.3 seconds. The second pass was the fastest at 12.1. The third pass was nearly the same as the second at 12.4. Wow, the Eagle cuts a lot faster than the wind, much faster than I'd anticipated. The Husqvarna needed 23.8 seconds on the first pass. The second pass took a little bit longer at 24.7 seconds. The third pass was the fastest of the three at 21.7 seconds. So the Ego holds on to the lead. Husqvarna is definitely nowhere nearly as fast as the Ego. Seems to be about as fast as the wind. While the Ego is fast, the Echo did even better on the first pass at 9.05 seconds. It was nearly as fast on the second pass at 9.3. 9.7 seconds on the third pass. So Echo takes the lead from Ego. I'm not sure if any of the saws are going to beat the Echo. That was extremely fast. I'm really surprised at just how fast it sliced through the wood. The organ took 19.5 seconds on the first cut. I pushed the saw a little too hard on the second cut, causing it to stall out and slowing the cut down to 21.5 seconds.
The third cut was the fastest of the three at 16.8 seconds. So Echo holds on to the lead. Horgan seems like a very powerful saw, but it seems like that self-sharpening chain is really slowing it down. I stalled out the steel a couple of times on the first cut, which took 18.4 seconds. The steel was a little bit faster in the second cut at 15.2. The third cut was the fastest of the three at 14.7 seconds. Still has a tremendous amount of chain speed, but definitely not as fast as some of the other brands. When the going gets tough, it seems like the steel just doesn't have the power. Let's see if Duat, which won the previous showdown, can beat the Echo. And Duat was close on the first cut at 9.4 seconds. And the second cut was the fastest at 9 seconds. So Dewalt barely edges out the Echo with a 9 second finish. I stalled out the Dewalt on the third cut with an 11.1 .1 second time. I'm going to have to check out the video footage, but I think the Dewalt actually beat the Echo. Very impressive. The Dewalt finished first at 9 seconds, barely ahead of Echo, Ego 12.1, Steel 14.7, Oregon 16.8, Wind 20.8, and Husqvarna 21.7. Chain speed has a huge impact on cutting speed, so in this next test, we're just going to apply 2.5 pounds of weight on the front of the saw, and I'm not going to apply any downward force, and we'll see which of these saws is the fastest. With two and a half pounds on the bar, the wind cut through the boards in 14.1 seconds. The Eagle was quite a bit faster than the wind at 10.7 seconds. The Husqvarna was slightly slower than the win at 14.3 seconds, so the Ego holds on to the lead. The Echo is the heaviest saw and it blasted through the wood at only 6.8 seconds. The Organ also did very well at 9.3 seconds, but that's not fast enough to beat the Echo. The steel has a very high no load chain speed and it cut through the log in 10.3 seconds. The Duat also did very well at 8.2 seconds, but that's not enough to beat the Echo. If it's all about cutting speed, the Echo came out on top at 6.8 seconds, Dewalt 8.2, Oregon 9.3, Steel 10.3, and Ego 10.7. Some very interesting results when comparing all the saws tested in episodes 1 and 2. Even though the Echo costs less than the Dewalt, Steel, Milwaukee, Makita, and the Oregon, it outperformed all of those brands cutting through the 6 4x4s in only 6.8 seconds. Up next, we'll be using the same exact log that we used in the last video on chainsaws. This is a Honeylocal tree and if you've ever seen one of these before you're very familiar with these thorns and in processing firewood I've been poked many times by these thorns. The wind needed 30.5 seconds to cut through the honey locust. Diego cut through the hardwood like a hot knife through butter in only 16.5 seconds. Very impressive. The Husqvarna really struggled with the honey locust, needing 40.3 seconds. The Ego 16.5 second time was very impressive, but the Echo did even better at 14.3 seconds. The organ powered through the log in a respectable 25.1 seconds, but definitely not fast enough to beat the Echo. The high chain speed of the steel sliced through the honey locust wood in 18 seconds, only 4 seconds behind the Echo.
And the DeWalt did a terrific job at 15 seconds, but it's Echo for the win at 14.3 seconds. Having the right combination of chain speed and torque had a huge impact on the outcome, with Echo coming out on top with a 14.3 second finish, DeWalt 15, Ego 16.5, Steel 18, Oregon 25, Win 30.5, and Husqvarna 40.3. Comparing the performance of all the saws tested in the first and second episodes, Echo came out on top at 14.3 seconds, DeWalt 15, Ego 16.5, Steel 18, Milwaukee 19.7, and the gasoline-powered Steel MS-170, 21.1 seconds. I just finished charging all the batteries, so let's test the total runtime in the next test by keeping the saw powered up non-stop as they cut through this honey locust tree. The wind really struggled with the hardwood and the 4 amp hour battery only lasted 4 minutes and 46 seconds. The Eagle cuts very fast but the 2.5 amp hour battery is definitely undersized for the saw. The saw only lasted 2 minutes and 46 seconds on a fully charged battery. The Husqvarna definitely seems to like power but the 4 amp hour battery lasted the longest yet at 6 minutes and 21 seconds. Echo cuts quickly and the 4 amp hour battery lasted the longest yet at 7 minutes and 36 seconds. The organ may not be the fastest cutting saw but the 6 amp hour battery lasted the longest yet at 8 minutes and 14 seconds. The steel lasted 6 minutes and 49 seconds which is longer than average but not as long as the organ or the echo. The Dewalt cuts really fast but didn't last as long as the Organ or Echo at 5 minutes and 45 seconds. When it comes to battery and saw runtime, the Organ came out on top at 8.2 minutes, the Echo second at 7.6, Steel 6.8, Husqvarna 6.3, Dewalt 5.8, Win 4.8, and Ego 2.7. Now that we know our cutting speed and total runtime for each saw, we can calculate our total productivity for a single charge. On the 11 inch honey locust tree, the echo only needed 14.3 seconds to cut through the log. The saw can run 7.6 minutes on a single charge. So the echo has enough battery juice to make approximately 32 passes through the 11 inch honey locust tree. Very impressive. Walt came in second at 23, still 22.8, Oregon 19.6, Ego 10, Husqvarna 9.4, and Win 9.3. Now that we've drained all the batteries, let's see how long it takes to charge them. The Ego, which has the smallest capacity battery at 2.5 amp hours, was the first to finish at 39 minutes. The Steel was second at 66 minutes and 45 seconds. The Echo was third at approximately 70 minutes. The Wind's 4 amp hour battery took 89 minutes and 15 seconds. The Husqvarna's 4 amp hour battery took 92 minutes. The Oregon's 6 amp hour battery took 93 minutes. So Ego charged the fastest at 39 minutes, the Steel was second at close to 67 minutes, Echo 70, Win 89, Husqvarna 92, Organ 93. We tested the DeWalt's recharge time in a previous video and it took 139 minutes. We tested quite a few chainsaws in the last two videos and in my opinion the Echo is by far the best chainsaw. It's a very sturdy built chainsaw that's going to last a long time. It also has a very good battery. Regarding the Ego, I like it quite a bit as well, but definitely would buy a larger battery if I bought the saw. All the videos in this channel are viewer suggested videos, so if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care, and I look forward to next time.